Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect, and today we are doing part 3. We're going to be doing a section and elevation in a simple project. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to start by having my file open here. I'm going to go to the Drawings and Documents tab. We're going to go to our drawings here, just make sure everything else is collapsed. And we're going to select a section, and I'm going to go with an east section. I'm going to place my 3D cursor where I want this to happen, so I'm going to place it here in the bathroom space. And then I'm going to click this little plus button to say add drawing. You can see the drawing has been added and we can see from the arrows the direction it's facing. If we click here where it says section view, we'll see there's a little one there. We're going to click on this little drop down and we can select this east section and then we just say activate view with this little camera icon. You can see the camera has been added, it's been activated. We're just going to start by editing the uh, annotations here. I'm going to select the level line there, I'm going to select the annotation tool. <clears throat> And I'm going to say, go into edit mode. I'm going to grab the end here, and I'm going to snap it GY to the edge there, and GY to the edge over there. And I'm going to press tab, and it's going to save. Then I'm going to select my, my three uh, grid lines. We're going to go to edit mode. I'm going to grab the tops here, and say GZ, snap it to the top there, GZ, snap it to the bottom there, and press tab to save it. Then I'm going to select my camera view, I'm going to go here where it says active drawing and we're going to adjust the width and the height to something more reasonable. I think 7500 should be worth it. And then I'm going to select this and just turn off my snaps temporarily and press G and center it over my drawing and then turn my snaps back on. Okay, from here I can adjust my grid lines again. So I'm just going to select them. I can select them all here in the annotation set here, and then I can just say edit mode and then give them a bit more space. So GZ, maybe 750 out, and then GZ minus 750. Then my level line could also be a bit further out, so I'm going to press tab to get out of that. So I'm going to select the level line. It is also listed in the annotation outliner here, basically in the drawing outliner. And we can just say edit mode, grab the edge here, and say G, Y, and just bring it out. Probably to about there, minus 1000. Looks good. I'm going to press tab, I'm going to select the camera, say G, Y, and just give it, move it across so that I can read my dimension there. Okay, cool. So we've added, we've created our section, we've adjusted our annotations, and we've adjusted our camera. Now I'm just going to activate the drawing again. I'm going to print the drawing, create it there, and then click on the little eye icon to view the drawing. And you can see there is our drawing. It's good enough. Maybe I want to adjust the scale. So I can go back to the go back to Blender, change the scale to 1 to 50. I'm just gonna say activate, print, and view. I can see that looks a little bit better, but actually I'm just gonna leave it at 1 to 100. Keep them all generally 1 to 100. Activate, print, and view. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. All right, from here, I'm going to add in a ground floor. So I'm going to go into 3D. I'm just going to click and drag so that I'm in 3D here. I'm going to select my 3D cursor and choose a random position near the house. Select my normal uh, selection tool and say Shift A, or you can press Add. And we're just going to add a mesh. I'm going to add a cube. And basically, I'm going to adjust this cube so it is bigger than the camera and it's going to become our site. So I'm just going to say tab, I'm going to select A, I'm going to say GZ, snap it to the bottom of this, and this is going to become the terrain for our site. So selecting this face, GX, bring it out, bring it out, maybe by another two meters, swap to the other side, GX, GX, another two meters, grab to this side, GY, snap there, GY, snap there, I'm going to press naught to go to the camera view, and I'm just going to say GY, and we're just going to drag it. We're going to make it minus 3, 500, so it's outside of the camera, and then select this other side, naught, GY, 1, 1, 2, 3, oopsie, 1 meter. Enter, tab. All right, so we've created a, a site terrain that we're going to classify as an IFC geographic element. So we select this. This is a normal blender mesh. Scroll to the top, go to object information. We're going to turn this into a IFC element. 
we're going to turn this into an IFC geographic element. So it's alphabetical. Here it is. And then it's terrain. That's perfect. And we're going to leave all the default context. Those look good. And we're going to say I assign IFC class. And you can see now it's been assigned and it's now being cut by the camera view. If we press not, we can go into the camera view. We can click on drawing the documents, activate, print, and then view. And you can see because it's a geographic element, there's a default where it's cut. Now we have a nice thick line there, but it's being cut as a white element. We want this to look like it is a section. We want to add in that hatch pattern. So <clears throat> I'm going to select this. We're going to go to geometry and materials. We're going to go to object materials and we're going to click on this uh, IFC material. So we don't have an earth material, so we're going to add one in. We're going to click on materials. So this is project wide. We're going to click on this little drop down arrow. We can check what's uncategorized. There's only unknown. We're going to add in a new lowercase earth material and we're going to say OK. And then when we click on this little drop down here for the object itself, that will be an option. We're going to click plus. And now th this object is, has been designated with an earth material, right? So that will show up when we print in 2D. Then I also want to, if I have a look at my drawing, I also want to change my slab to be concrete. So we're going to go back to Blender. We're going to click on the slab. We're going to click on this inherited material, click on that little pencil icon. And here where it says layer set name, we're going to give it the name of the slab. I'm going to type in concrete lowercase and we're going to say tick. And now we've assigned a concrete hatch pattern to the slab and an earth hatch pattern to the terrain. So to see those, we go back into drawings of documents. We activate the drawing and we say create drawing, and then we're gonna say view drawing. And there we go. It's a fairly simple section, but it runs through the full gambit of all the things we need. Um, maybe one of the other things we're gonna do is just add in a custom level line, and then we're gonna move on to the elevation. So inside of the section, we click on the annotation tool. On this little dropdown, we click on level line, and we're just gonna choose a random location for it. We're gonna say add, I'm going to say tab, tab, so we can just see it. I'm going to say edit mode. I'm going to grab this edge and say G, Y, and bring it to the end there. And G, Y, and bring it out a little bit by maybe 500. And G, Z, so that it's all the same line. I'm going to press tab. And then I'm going to move this in object mode, G, Z, to about there. Or we can even do the roof height there. All right, and then we can select our floor slab and we can also edit the edge here so it lines up G, Y with the other level line there. And you can create as many as you, as you like. You can press Shift, D, Z and drag this down. And we can even say G, Z minus three, minus two. And then it's a slightly more reasonable line. All right, so we've created a wall plate height and we've created a roof height. Then we just say activate print and view. And there we have a nice section, basically. All right, moving on. Uh, let's have a look at doing an elevation. Essentially, it's all the same process. So we're going to start in the plan. We're just going to say, activate that drawing. And in the plan, we can actually even edit our section line, select the 2D annotation element, And we're just going to go into edit mode, make sure you have the annotation tool selected. And we're just going to say, GY, we're going to select the edges here and say GY and line them up with the grid lines here and press tab. We're going to place our 3D cursor. We're going to choose an elevation. We're going to click on this little drop down. We're going to select elevation and we're actually going to say west because it's coming from the west and we're going to say plus and you can see the direction the elevation is looking. And then in the elevation view, there will be a west elevation. You'll see it says one there. If it's, if it's not visible, you just click on the little drop down, select the west elevation and say activate drawing and you'll have the same setup from before. We're going to select our level line. We're going to say edit mode. We're going to grab the edge there. We're going to say G, Y, snap it in. G, Y, out by minus one meter. Grab the edge here, G, Y, G, Y, 500. Press tab, grab the three grid lines, say edit mode, grab the tops, G, Z, GZ 500, grab the bottoms, GZ, GZ minus 500. 
press tab, select the camera view, it's all the same. We're going to make the 7500, so that's the width and the height, and it's essentially centered on our drawing here. And then maybe we want to make our, uh, our terrain a little bit bigger. So we're going to select the terrain. We're just going to make sure we have the multi-object tool selected. We're going to press tab twice, press three to select faces, grab this little edge here, say G, Y, and bring it out by another 1,500. I think it's correct. If we press north, we can see in our elevation. We can press tab, tab again to save it. And then we're going to go activate drawing, print drawing, and open drawing. And there you can see is our elevation. So a few issues. We need to make this terrain a little bit deeper. So I'm going to press tab, tab, select the bottom, GZ, minus 500, tab, tab. Obviously, in the real world, <laughs> it's got a very large depth below the site. And then the other thing we want to do, if we go to press naught, is make sure that this My Story is visible. So we're just going to adjust the width of the... We're going to adjust the position of the drawing. Press Y and drag it across just like the other one. We're going to say Activate, Print, and View. And there's our elevation, which we can see. And there is our section from the same direction, cutting further down. So quite good, quite easy. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that was helpful. Just a heads up, I have a coffee page if you would like to support the creation of these videos. Coffee supporters get early access to videos and they really help create the content. So again, thank you. Awesome. Thank you everyone. Bye.